I never was like, social media is the new wave. I was the wave. Driving a bit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that'd be a good short a fire, clip. Right? Yeah. And then maybe like we do like another intro like in the house. Yeah, it's up to you. I'm down for whatever. Like I don't okay. really care. I've been in this game since I was 16 years old. People watching me. Yo, get the f off the property, bro. Don't no, get off my property. Every single move and living my life under a microscope. <laughs> I was before everyone else doing it. We're only the best vloggers rise to the top. We're only the Jake Paulers can take out every YouTube channel on the platform because we are the most lit YouTube channel. Good morning, Jake Paulers, for real. Because it's what I love doing. Logan just hit me with the, I bet you $5,000 you won't jump in. At first it was a joke in real life, but now you're, the camera's up and we're vlogging. <laughs> Five grand. I, I was there when we created the term, the word influencer. I was in the room. Find what you do well and, and kill go. it. That's kill like it. focus on your thing and rock it, dude. And dab on them haters. And dab right? on them yeah. haters and then buy yourself a, a Lambo. Lambo. I've always known it was a powerful tool. You know, I was on camera 17 years old saying that influencers are gonna take over the world in every single industry. Are you ready for the start? First start ever. Three, two, one. I love you. Somehow Jake Paul has this magical quality to be able to make things come together just by manifesting them. He's like, you know, one day I'm gonna be the number one YouTuber and social media guy in the world. And one day, you know, maybe I'll uh, get in the ring and become a great boxer. And his brother's like, maybe one day I'll fight Floyd Mayweather. These things that could never happen in reality are happening in reality. Don't let anyone tell you you can't chase your dreams, guys, seriously. Bro, I've seen it all, okay? You're a weird. Seen it all, bro. In celebrity years, I'm 100. That's a thing now. Yeah. Dog years, celebrity years. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm 100. I'm always evolving and trying to become the best version of myself. Really, boxing has allowed me the space um, and the discipline and routine to figure out who I truly am. <laughs> Um, we started with my kids saying that they want to go by Jake's house in Hollywood. And we was like, well, we're not gonna go by Jake's house. And they're like, no, no, there's kids and people outside waiting to, to see him all the time. So you can go by there. And he does love, he loves boxing. We went by there and he looked at me, oh yeah, bring him in, bring him in. So I walked in and met Jake. That was the, pretty much the beginning of us connecting with each other. Shane Mosley is a um, Hall of Fame fighter. He has a, an incredible legacy, and, and his name being attached to, to Jake Paul, it does give him a little bit of validity, and it, it will at least let us know that Jake Paul is gonna take this seriously because Shane Mosley doesn't play. But in terms of knowledge and what he knows about the sport, Shane is, is phenomenal. I think it won't hurt a training camp, having a guy of that caliber in your training camp. He's telling me, being in the ring with a world champion, you get better by osmosis and all the little tips, tricks, and intricacies of the sport I'm able to pick up on because of him. Yeah. The first thing is the willingness to, to be a fighter, to be a real fighter. The willingness to do that. You know, it takes a lot of guts and courage. It's almost like a relief to have the loss out of the way, because it's like I've already dealt with what my worst fear was. That Tommy Fury fight alone really qualified him as a professional boxer to me. You, you can't discount that performance. And, and the fact that he lost and he's picked himself up and he's going again. I, I have a lot of respect for the guy. Oh, nice left from Jake. That was a big shot. This is looking really good for Jake Paul right now. Oh, 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 he him again. The problem child beats the gangster. Bouncing back from a 
his first professional loss against Tommy Fury. Jake Paul said, I've been working on everything. No time. And I will knock out Andre August. Andre needs to be careful about ducking down. Oh! I almost feel free now. There's just no nerves. And I think with my new team, different preparation, everything's at a much higher level. Right now, he's very sharp. This uh, jab is getting a lot better, which you need. Uh, right hands, left hooks. Where you're supposed to move when people move a certain way, you move this way. <laughs> He's understanding uh, the ring generalship of, of the boxing. Yeah, you feel good, baby. Work. You feel good. Which is a lot better now. His IQ is better.